Hello fellow humans, it's your girl Melissa here back with another video. Whoop, whoop. How have you guys been? Are you guys cool? Are you guys okay? You guys loving this winter that we're having, this load shedding that we're having? Are you, have you, are you guys having a good time here? I love it here. <laughs> but no, we're really, you guys good? Uh, I am here to talk about some tv shows which is a little different to what i what you usually see from me it's just that when i started this channel i intended to do both movies and tv shows and books so that was always my intention and i feel like i fell behind on the movie tv side of this channel so we're trying to get back to that today we are going to be doing um, some of my favorite my shows that I've been loving lately. Um, please comment down below some of your shows that you've been loving lately. I need some recommendations. I'm running out. I'm literally running out of things to watch. So please comment down below some of your favorite shows. And um, please like and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, we do, we try, we're trying to grow this channel, you know. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also comment some suggestions on how I can improve my videos if you have any ideas. So yeah. Let's get into it. So one of the first shows I'm going to be talking about is Sound. It's a show that's in its third season. The, the third season is literally being released as this video is recorded called The Boys. And The Boys is on, it's on Amazon Prime, if I'm not mistaken. And it is, <laughs> it is a wild ride. I literally recommended it to one of my friends and she's messaging me all the time being like, what the hell is that? What happened in this in this episode? Oh, da, 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 da. It's based on comic books. If superheroes were walking around in today's time, how would it be like? So you have these superheroes called the Seven, which is basically a parody of the Avengers. And they are the top, top superheroes. They are the ones that get stuff done. They're the ones that are in the, the magazines, the TV shows, in the news all the time. Those That is the Seven. And it's very difficult to get into the Seven. So the seven are very elite superheroes. We follow people from the seven who are in the seven. And we follow people called the boys. And the boys are, are people that are trying to take down the seven. Because the seven are very shady, corrupt. So most of them are very shady, corrupt people. So the boys are people who are trying to get the seven down. They're trying to take him down. Especially its leader, Homelander, who is the worst of the worst. Our main character, Huey... He is someone who is not involved with the boys or the seven. He was just an ordinary guy living his life. And then one day, his girlfriend gets killed in the first episode, gets killed by one of the members of the seven. So he teams up with the boys to get justice for his girlfriend. And chaos, vulg vulgar things ensue. It's a very vulgar show. It's very violent but it's also extremely funny and extremely absurd like when you're in a when you're in a environment where anything goes especially in such a fictional environment where we're following comic book characters anything can happen and they really take that to heart and i just really like the dynamics i love the absurdity i love the dialogue that the characters have with each other so i'm really enjoying this show next show i'm recommending is devil judge Devil Judge is a K-drama with one of my favorite people, Jin Young from God 7. Um, he, she's the main character, so thank goodness. Devil Judge is kind of like this futuristic dystopian world, dystopian Korea, essentially. It's kind of like an anarchy and people, the, the government is trying to find ways. I guess it's not anarchy if there's a government. But the government is trying to find ways to kind of control the pop, to control the violence and crime that is happening in Korea. So they set up this show called, um, I forgot what the show was called, but they set up the show where there's this judge who's doing live sentencing people, basically. So it's a television reality show. Not Judge Judy, but like people who have committed serious crimes and then the public gets to vote. Yeah, it was hectic. The public gets to vote on whether this person is innocent or guilty. So the judge, uh, there's no jury or anything or any other lawyers. The, the person who's put on trial doesn't get any de a defense. It's just them put on trial and then the, 
and then the judge presents the case and the public decides but they also get to decide sometimes the punishment that the person receives and it's a it's a show about morality and some extremely about morality and justice and what would you do if someone's fate was put into your hands and if it was you what would it, like it's it raises all those types of questions there's also a sublining plot following our main character who is who is played by Jin Young from God's Seven, and he is also a judge and so the pan, there is a panel of judges in this tv show courtroom our main judge who is played by I forgot his name I'll put a picture of him he's the main guy he's the main he's a very morally great character and then you have two other judges played by a woman and Jin Young so there's three judges in total who present the case to the public and Jin Young is fighting against his morality of whether this is a good idea or not he's also fighting the main judge because he's shady as hell huh, it gave me how to get away with murder vibes not only because of the lawyer aspect of it but also just the whole idea of it of morality and 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 all that so yeah very good show very interesting i didn't go through it as fast as as i would have liked it's now on netflix i i didn't watch it on netflix but it's currently now on netflix so check it out if you're interested the next show i'm introducing is a show that is also currently on its third season which is umbrella academy i'm sure a lot of you actually know umbrella academy i just feel like it doesn't get a lot of hype because this third season was released between the stranger things seasons and i feel like that distracted everybody from watching umbrella academy because stranger things was happening <laughs> but umbrella academy is a very interesting show it um if you don't know the premise it is it's also based on a comic book like the boys and it follows um these these all these people all these people who have who have superpowers who are born on the same day and it was kind of like a miraculous conception virgin mary type of thing where like their mothers started out their days not not knowing they were pregnant didn't they, they weren't pregnant they were literally were not pregnant it was literally a miraculous conception where that during that day they got they got pregnant and gave birth the same day so this billionaire reginald hargreaves hears about this and tries to adopt as many of those children as he can and he success he successfully adopts seven of them and he called them the umbrella academy and he trained them to fight crime now the show takes place years later where they're all like in their early 30s to off doing their own things and they come together for their death of their father because their father original targreaves father's very loose term original targreaves has now passed away and they all gather up together for his funeral and some of them believe, didn't don't believe the reasons he died like the reasons they were given of how their father passed away some of them are suspicious some of them just want to get it over with like it's very dysfunctional it's a very dysfunctional family and they're estranged from one another they don't speak that much they don't all at all so meeting up for their father's funeral um chaos ensues i keep on saying that but it does and there is a plot ending of the world like it goes haywire from when they meet up for their father's funeral so yeah it's a very interesting show about family dysfunctional family superpowers time travel oh like oh my gosh season one has a place in my heart because i had no expectations going into the show and watching it blew me away especially the ending because the ending just they have a way of ending things where you're just like huh like you just feel like you've been whiplash like so much is happening and then just quiet and you're like huh and then it ends so i really enjoy umbrella academy okay fellow humans i'm back i wanted to take a break between filming some of the clips so that i could actually come up with some nice shows to recommend you guys instead of just ratting off ones at the top of my head so i came back with a more conclusive list so the first show that we have here animal kingdom Woo! my brother got me into the show and it is again family drama like a brenner academy it's a dysfunctional family um so the premise of the show is there's this young boy 
um, whose mother just recently passed away. Um, his mother is all the family that he knows. He's trying to find his mother's side of the family and he finds his grandmother and his uncles and they are all part of some shady business and he gets integrated into the family his grandmother smurf my favorite character is very welcoming his uncles some of them are some of them are i think he has three uncles so his uncles yeah, but he gets integrated in the family and learns about the family business which is a whole lot of debauchery a whole lot of shady things and it is a wonderful ride because you we i forgot the i forgot the character's name i'm just gonna call him michael because he plays michael in peaky blinders which is another show i'm gonna recommend michael we are watching the entire show through his eyes so we um so everything that's unfolding about the family business that we learn about the family business is all through his perspective so it unravels so beautifully and it escalates beautifully and i think it's on either its third or fourth season i haven't watched the newest season but it the way it progresses and the way that micro grows into now becoming such an integral part of the family business to where i left off it is such a beautiful progression but also a really sad one and all the characters are so dynamic. They have their own issues going on. There's power struggles between Smurf and her sons, between Michael and her his uncles. And it's just, it's a lot. Personal storylines running through. It's a beautiful show. I loved every second of it. The next show we have is one that I literally just recommended, which is Peaky Blinders. <laughs> Peaky Blinders is on season six now. I watched it all on Netflix. I haven't watched season six yet, but... I'm excited. Why I my favorite season of Peaky Blinders is definitely season three, hands down, one of my favorite seasons of Peaky Blinders. And Tom Hardy, even though he doesn't show up much in the show, he's 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 wonderful in the show. So we have Peaky Blinders, which is a UK TV show. It's on a sixth season. You can watch it all on Netflix, and it follows a family i don't know what's with me and family dramas but uh, that's where i'm at a uh, dysfunctional family again a crime family the peaky blindness follows a crime family in the in the 1920s i assume because it's just after world war one and they are one of the they they are called they call themselves the peaky blinders and they are the like the top crime family in their area and they don't take any bs and they are they are dysfunctional but organized they have a hierarchy in between the family and the main family is these three brothers thomas who is the leader who my favorite character thomas shelby and then there's and then there's arthur and then there's john these are the three brothers and then both their mother and father are not around but they have their aunt so we their aunt is kind of like the uh the matriarchy of the family she's the one who even if thomas is the leader she kind of is like his his right hand person of like helping him make decisions or even overthrowing him in the decision making so um we love her and then and so yeah those are the three four main characters actually and we are following them as they are trying to climb the ranks in the in in the gangs in the uk and they are trying to gain power especially thomas and you see and then just just the show is them trying to gain power and move up the crime the crime ladder and they're going into different avenues of trying to gain money whether it's horse races like in the first season or politics in the newest season and it's a very it's a very power hungry show oddly heartwarming they are very heartwarming family very odd in a way that like sometimes you watch some scenes and you're like oh they're kind of cute though so i really like piggy blinders i haven't heard really good things about the latest season season six so i'm that's why i'm holding off watching it but yeah okay guys that is the last 
show i'm going to be talking about i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i i really enjoyed talking about tv shows with you guys because as you can tell i really enjoy all the shows i spoke about and all the shows i recommended but this is not the final video of me doing this this is not gonna be the last time this is never gonna be probably going to make a part two because there's so many shows i still want to talk about but i still need to curate a list because i want to recommend good ones to you guys so i hope you liked this video i hope you enjoyed it please comment down below some of the 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 shows that you're also enjoying at the moment and that if you ever watched any of the shows i've mentioned why you enjoyed them how were they did you like did you did you like it did you not do you think this list is rubbish anything <laughs> come down anything so thank you i hope that you like and subscribe so i can continue making videos for you guys and continue to give you more recommendations i uh, hope you enjoyed this video and cannot wait to see you in the next video bye guys